It is known that custodians begin their lives as the infant sons of the noble houses of Terra. It is a mark of incredible prestige to surrender one's child to this most glorious of callings within the Imperium. And many notable clans amongst the Terran aristocracy have willingly given up almost entire generations of newborn sons to earn it. Ah, sorry about that guys. Apparently, I've made some mistakes in quoting that outdated Warhammer 40k lore, as it seems like the custodies are not the sons of the noble houses, because they are the sons and daughters of the noble houses, at least according to Modern Day Games Workshop. As they've come out and said, since the first 10,000, there have always been female custodies. But I have to admit, it is strange because I do not recall ever reading about them. So I decided to go back and do some deep diving into the lore to see if I could find any trace of a female custody. And I have to admit, I've come up short. I did, however, find reference after reference that these guys have always been, well, guys. It sort of feels as if this retcon of the lore is just being forced. And it's very strange that it just so happens to be happening around the same time that BlackRock has gotten involved with Games Workshop. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock we are forcing behaviors. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, female representation in a hobby mostly dominated by men is not a bad thing. And you know what? I actually agree with you. I 100% agree with you. The problem is, the game already has a ton of female representation. There's entire factions made up solely of females. We have the Sisters of Silence and the Sisters of Battle, who by the way are pretty damn powerful in their own right and nothing to scuff at. In fact, it's not just these two factions. We have females involved throughout the entirety of Warhammer 40k lore. Hell, the Imperial Guard even has female soldiers in it. In fact, they even sell female squad miniatures. So it begs the question, if the game already has female representation, why make this sudden change to include female custodies? So let's think about it for a second. After all, we do have an upcoming 40k Amazon TV series with Henry Cavill attached to it not only as one of the stars, but as a scriptwriter and executive producer, who has promised Warhammer fans that this series will respect the IP and deliver a show fans of this universe will enjoy that is accurate to the lore, which actually got me pretty excited originally, and I don't know why, because it's like, come on, man, it's Amazon. Henry Cavill did not stand a chance, but he has done several interviews in the past where his passion for this grim dark universe has shined through. In fact, he's even talked about his favorite faction before. Can you guess what it is? The easy answer is um, Warhammer 40,000. That is my, my jam. Um, <laughs> I have been into it since I was 10. What's and, your army um, at the moment? Uh, custodies. So yeah, a loyal fan of 40K is getting a show on Amazon. No wonder they're making these changes before the show comes out. Because if you change the lore now, fans cannot criticize the show for having female custodies in it. It's like they're planting the seeds ahead of time. You have to force behaviors. Now, I actually kind of have a theory for this sudden change, and I'm gonna be honest, it has nothing to do with female representation. I mean, I've already talked about how the game has females involved in it. So here lies the issue. When you put a Sister of Silence next to a Custody, you can still see feminine and masculine characteristics in the two different models. You could identify which one is male and which one is female. However, if we have female custodies, these gender traits between the sexes will simply vanish because custodies are genetically altered at birth. So even a female custody is basically going to look very much like their male counterparts. Because it won't matter if you're born a boy or a girl. After this alteration, you will come out basically looking almost like one gender. It's almost like they want representation for a different group of people. Ma'am, it is ma'am. 
Now, I'm not going to gaslight you, and all joking aside, realistically, they could have found a way to write in female custodies. And it really wouldn't break the lore because custodies and space marines are two different things. My problem is, is it's abundantly clear that this change was simply made because of modern day politics and nothing more. Once again, they're gonna take a franchise and simply current day us just because. And it's just getting so annoying. In fact, it actually reminds me of a so-called rant that happened a few months ago that feels relevant to this whole conversation. Did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Unfortunately, it looks like this may be another franchise that could fall victim to ESG money. And if you dare question this at all, they're just going to tell you to kick rocks and get the hell out of the hobby. In fact, they'll probably accuse you of being an extreme right winger but i would love to hear what you all think what do you guys think about games workshop adding female custodies to the warhammer 40k universe let me know your thoughts in the comments down below by the way if you did happen to enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like and if you are new please consider subscribing as for me i got a ton of work to do so i'm gonna get back to the grind and i'll catch you in the next one peace fucking current day californian shit